During Tuesday's press conference, the National Unity Platform spokesperson, Joel Senyonyi, said the party was today holding prayers for many of their supporters who have been killed and brutalized. Because we believe our country needs the intervention of the Lord. There's lots of human rights violations that are happening in our land. People are being murdered in our land. Democracy in our land was thrown out the window. There's bad governance. We have rulers as opposed to leaders. The prayers did not take place as security deployed at all roads that lead in and out at the party premises. We tried unsuccessfully to engage with security man in the checkpoints to allow us access. Good job, Fine. Mm. Show the ceremonies in Kololo. However, Joel Senyonyi, the NOOP spokesperson, says the heavy deployment by security won't deter them from their mission to remove Museveni from power. But you see, for us, these acts actually strengthen us. It, it shows how powerful the people of Uganda are. And that means we need to be more united as a people. We need to be more resolute than ever before. We, we need to do a lot more of what we are doing. Because if the little we have done so far has put Museveni on tenterhooks, that means if we do a lot more, he will be no more. So that's what we mean when we say we'll keep pressing on every step of the way. Luke Owesijie, the deputy spokesperson of Kampala Metropolitan Police, defended the heavy deployment. Yes, uh, of course, uh, that was done uh, after the, the police was reliably informed that uh, uh, members of the NUP were planning uh, to have an activity, which of course we the information we got it from social media and also TV uh, that they were planning to have an activity. Of course, they are saying there were prayers, but we wouldn't. It it could turn into something else, and we didn't want to wait for that. Today, President Museveni has been sworn in for the sixth term in office, as the police continues to surround the home of new leader Robert Chagulani, who described the inauguration as a sham. Raymond Tamale, NTV.